hello there as you can see or maybe you don't even notice the difference but i'm still using my old pretty basic usb webcam this time around i know we did some videos where i spent some time trying to use my iphone as the webcam but i just felt like that was a little bit too clunky and i wanted to go ahead and try something else so this time around we'll be using this my gopro hero 3 plus now i just happen to have this sitting around from a few vacations that we've used it on and since i've got the device here and it's pretty easy to set up and use in obs i figured i'd go ahead and give it a try so let's go ahead and get started first thing i want to do is finally get rid of this infinity screen that i see on every one of my videos so far a collection of russian nesting dolls it's a pretty simple process so all i'm going to do is add a color source hit okay i'm going to go ahead and select a color that's kind of similar to the background i'm not really going to worry about it too much i can adjust that later and all that does as you can see you can't see anything that i'm recording in the preview window so what i'm going to do is go ahead and, and move this down and basically just cover up the infinity portion of the screen here. And that way you can still see OBS while I'm recording. I'll move it to the background right above display capture. I will adjust it later for my next video, but I think that that'll cover it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, I'm gonna be using my GoPro Hero 3 Plus. It's capable of doing 19, 20 by 1080, 30 frames, 50 frames, I think even 60 frames per second. But I'll just be doing 1080p, 30 frames per second in this particular video. There's a couple things you're going to need. One important thing is one of these. It's a video HDMI capture card. And what it basically does is it takes an HDMI signal and runs it through the card and turns it into a USB plug-in device. That way OBS will be able to see it as an HD video source. So let me go ahead and get that set up here. Okay, now that should be set up. What I've done is I've plugged in the mini HDMI cable. So I have one of these, which is a mini HDMI to regular full-size HDMI. I plug the mini HDMI into my GoPro and the other side, the full-size HDMI goes into the video capture device and then that plugs into USB. Now there are other options. I just happen to have this device laying around and it works great, but I think you could go with a simpler option. A lot of people have used this device here that basically just plugs right into your USB port and then you plug the HDMI in. But either way you want to go, both will work just fine. So let's go ahead and set this up. I'm going to add a video capture device. Name it GoPro. Select USB 3.0 HD video. And there it is. There's me. I'm going to go ahead and down here and I'm going to, instead of device default, I'm going to go ahead and choose my resolution, which is 1920 by 1080. I'm going to go ahead and just set it to the 30 frames per second. And those are settings you can set up inside of the GoPro self and I'll leave everything else as it is. And you'll also notice that one thing that you see is the, the HUDs or the heads up display or the on-screen display for the GoPro. You can turn that off in the settings of the GoPro. That's very easy to do. I won't do that in this video. This is just for testing the video quality to see if I want to do that in the future. So now that we have this set up, let's go ahead and, oops, let's go ahead and take this GoPro 3, shrink it down a little bit. Okay. We'll put on the Super Pro filter that you all are probably pretty tired of me adding, but I'll continue to do it to make sure that we're showing sort of an apples to apples comparison, pro circle, and there we go. So let's go ahead and shrink this down just a little bit. And you can still see the heads, heads up display here. One thing that I have is a really old tripod setup, so I can't really adjust how close the video is, but in, in all honesty, that looks pretty good. 
I know I keep saying that, but I think that looks really good as far as maybe using that as my permanent webcam. I don't know. What do you all think? Let me know down in the comments below. So if I'm going to go ahead and use the GoPro here and I still have the webcam over here, I might need to do some testing offline to make sure I'm comfortable with that. Might want to go ahead and get a desk tripod. I don't want to really break the bank here. I just want to kind of use the things that I have lying around the house. But if this GoPro option works, I might stick with it. Um, I think that's about it. Again, let me know what you think, which one I should go with. Do we still go with the this one here, the old USB webcam, or do we go with the GoPro right here? I know I've tried a bunch of different options, but the GoPro is looking to be the best one. Anyway, hopefully this helped a little bit, help you get it set up. Again, go in the options, remove any of the on-screen display. You can even move it up to a higher frame rate, which is nice. I also have it on the medium display setting instead of having that wide, super wide GoPro look, but you can choose that if you like. But either way, it's another option for someone who's just starting up and wants to go pro. And I think it's a good one. So again, please like and comment down below what, what you all think about this setup and anything you'd like me to do in the future. All right. Thanks. Bye.